Hey guys, it's Lynn Pratt. I wanted to show you a little bit of how I prep to start a painting. So this is a future Patreon tutorial of a dried chili pepper. And I'm trying to figure out what colors I need to do this in a photorealistic style. And I try to use as few colors as possible just to paint, make the painting a little bit more cohesive. So this is what I've come up with as a color palette for this painting. So I have a yellow, a green, a red, and a blue. So these are the colors that I'm going to use for this painting. And I'm pretty sure I can keep it to these. Sometimes I get to a point and I realize mm, I need to add something else in there, but this is definitely going to be my starting palette for this painting. And I go through and just kind of look at each section and see, okay, what do I need to make this color? So for the lighter greens, I know I just have to mix my hooker's green with my new gamboge and get that lighter green for the stem. To get my darker green for the stem, I know I can mix my complementary colors. So if I mix my red and my green, I can get multiple different colors. So these three are mixtures of just red and green. This almost neutral-ish gray is green and red in a somewhat equal amount. Here I have a little bit more red and this is how I'm gonna get my darker, deeper reds. And here I have a little bit more green and that's how I'm gonna get those nice darks in my stem. And then kind of going through some of these darks, I want to be a little bit brighter, a little bit more purple. So I've mixed my blue and my red. So a small amount of blue with more red gives me this nice, more of a purpley tint to it for some of those darks in there. And then if I do that same, but add just a little bit of yellow to it as well, it kind of gives it that brighter feel for some of those areas that are coming out of those shadowed areas. So I can kind of skip around and look at each part of my painting and say, do I have a plain color or a color mixture from those that I can paint every single part of this painting. And looking at it and going over it, I do. And I definitely can do the shadow as well, using this green and red, mixing in to maybe even a little bit of yellow in there. I usually don't put yellow in a shadow, but just kind of uh, brown it up a little bit there, moving into my purple shades and ending in my blues. So. I can cover this whole thing using just these four colors. But if I didn't plan it out ahead of time, I knew I would get stuck in the middle. So make sure you plan out your paintings from the beginning. So this is just kind of a quick little tutorial of just how to pick your colors to work on a specific painting. Let's paint.